The huge mega cities of India, Pakistan, and Bangladesh, where space is scarce, clean water is hard to come by, and snarled traffic common. Experts say they are the economic hope of South Asia. Income levels and literacy rates are higher in cities than in the countryside. We have often thought of South Asia as this crowded, uh, congested, and um, overpopulated, some people say, uh, subcontinent. On the contrary, this is a young, dynamic population that could be the engine of growth for the future of South Asia. But more people moving into cities puts more pressure on scarce land, water, and utilities, and creates vast slums and choking pollution. It adversely affects people's quality of life, and it is reflected in a very difficult traffic situation. It's also reflected in air and water quality, which is pretty difficult and pretty weak, and poses a serious health hazard. It's also reflected in a heavy concentration of urban slum population. Another problem, weak city governments that can't or won't fix leaking water pipes or build new roads. One key to managing the new megacities is to make local governments work better. I think we have to charge people for access to water, but we have to do it in such a way that they actually get access to water. I think people will resist paying for water if they can't be guaranteed better access to water. No country in the world has ever developed, nor has poverty ever been eradicated without urbanization. So the challenge is really one of how do you manage urbanization, not, the, not how do you stop urbanization. The mass movement into cities is still relatively new for South Asia, but it is a growing trend. And urban planners say now is the time to start making those cities decent places to live.